Hello children, after the completion of current electricity, we have to move in chapter 4 that is moving charges and magnetism. A synopsis of the chapter is given here means what we have to study in this chapter that is magnet we have to start from magnetic force and we have to end our discussion in moving coil galvanometer as a device but uh, today in this uh, video class we will discuss only magnetic force first before that we have learnt the electric field electric field due to a static charge and the electric field at a point is e equal to q by 4 pi epsilon naught r square and if another charge brought at that point then that will experience a force electric field carry energy and momentum and takes a finite time to propagate now current or moving charges so we can say wherever there's a charge there's an electric field if that charge is in motion or there's electric current another field that uh, come into picture that is the magnetic field here say first uh, let us say this one it is a cylindrical magnet if uh, a nail is brought now let us see why it is happening i am unable to remove this one now it is due to a force of attraction another you have seen it is a compass magnetic compass metal. now let us see when this magnet is brought close to that one we can see so here the motion in the needle is due to a magnetic force now magnetic effect of current an electric current produces magnetic effect in the space around the conductor called a strength of magnetic field or magnetic field intensity or magnetic field simply first this uh, is observed by Ostead in an experiment. Let us see that one. Here, a bar magnet is placed just behind a wire. Now, when switch is on, see the movement of the magnetic needle means when current was allowed to flow through a wire placed parallel to the axis of the magnetic needle kept directly below the wire the needle was deflected from its normal position now what will happen if we revert the polarity let us see see the polarity here in here it was this one was the positive one so current moving that way after uh, switching on now here if we switch on current will move along this direction so when switch is on see the deflection when current was reversed through the wire the needle was found to deflect in the opposite direction to the earlier case now how we can determine the direction of magnetic field there are various methods some of them are here first uh, ampere's swimming rule or snow rule 
Imagine a man who swims in the direction of current from south to north. Fishing a magnetic needle kept under him such that current enters his feet and then north pole. Now let us see when current. Then see the deflection. The needle deflected towards west. Another is Maxwell's cork a screw rule or right-handed screw rule. Most of the screw are right-handed. If we revolve it clockwise, it will go inside. If it is anti-clockwise, then it will come down. So that is if the forward motion of an imaginary right-handed screw is in the direction of current through the linear conductor then the direction of rotation so here if it is current is moving in that way as the screw is advancing means then the magnetic field is in this direction and if current is reversed then magnetic field direction is here now a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field experiences a force which means that moving charges in a magnetic field experiences a force. Let us say a magnetic field B. Here a charge plus Q is moving at an angle theta with the magnetic field or we can say the direction of direction of conventional current that is I then force will be QV cross B so by using cross product we can find the direction of the force if it is a negative charge then the direction of current will be taken opposite to the V then the force will be here the downward the special cases we can draw from here that is if charge is at rest that is v equal to zero then magnetic force will be zero any one quantity is zero then magnetic force will be zero so a stationary charge does not experiences any force though that is placed in a magnetic field if theta equal to 0 degree or 180 degree then sine 0 is once again 0 or sine 180 degree 0 so magnetic force is 0 if theta is equal to 90 degree means charge move perpendicular to the magnetic field then force is maximum and that will be QVV Next is the Fleming's left hand rule. Here, say this one. Left hand rule, three fingers, middle finger, index finger and thumb are kept perpendicular to each other. If this middle finger is electric current, index finger is B, then the thumb will be the direction of force. So here we can say it is EMF. Electric current means we have to start from the middle finger, electric current, magnetic field and this is the force EMF we have learned earlier. Or father, mother, child. Father means force, here then motion is this way means the clockwise father mother child thumb is the father that is the force magnetic field that is mother index finger and this is the child that is the current now force on a moving charge in uniform electric and magnetic field given by Lorentz force what is the Lorentz force f equal to q e plus v cross b that is total force if a charge is moving in electric field and magnetic field then the total force will be 
its vector sum of the electric force and magnetic force where electric force is QE and magnetic force is QP. So from this we can define the magnetic field that is the B, B equal to F by QV sin theta. The magnitude of magnetic field is 1 SI unit when the force acting on a unit current, unit charge moving perpendicular to B with a speed 1 meter per second is 1 Newton. Means in class 11 also we have learnt. Here we have to define B, make all the quantity unity. Then if Q is 1 coulomb, V is 1 meter per second and sine theta is 1, means uh, 1 coulomb charge moving perpendicular to the B, then the magnetic field is numerically equal to the force experienced and that is 1 Newton. So now the SI unit of B, it will be Newton per Coulomb meter per second or Newton second per Coulomb meter which is Tesla T or Bebo per meter square. This we will learn little later on. Non-SI unit or a smaller unit is Gauss. Means CGS unit is Gauss. 1 Gauss equal to 10 to the power minus 4 Tesla. Even near the earth surface, the magnetic field is nearly 10 to the power minus 6 Tesla. Dimension of B will be, from here we can find, dimension of force by dimension of Q will be current into time and dimension of V by substituting that one we will find dimension of B is m t to the power minus 2 a minus 1. Now here few questions as assignments. So do these questions as told earlier here whatever assignment is given all are the important question. So do this one. Next we will see a force on a current carrying conductor. Here we have seen force on a moving charge. Next we will see force on a current carrying conductor. Thank you.